Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this series, we are designing a one-page website from scratch, referring a Figma design. So this is our progress as of now. We have designed all these sections over here and uh, we are at the contact us section. Now let's go to our Figma design and see which is the next section we need to design. So the last section we need to design is the footer. So let's get started. <laughs> Now before starting with the footer, let me just add one line of CSS to the button. So let's go to the button. This is where the styles of the button are. Now if you go to our website, you can see that there is not a lot of margin between this button and the text area. Now if we add margins to these buttons or the elements above it, it may not work well because uh, these buttons are basically anchor tags and anchor tags are inline elements. So let's go ahead and change this to an inline block. All right, now we can see that there's uh, enough margin between the button and the other elements. All right, now let's go ahead and start with the footer. So let's go to index.html and after the end of the contacts section, let's start with the footer. So if you go to the Figma design, we can see that footer has the full width of our uh, design. But the content inside the footer has a width of the wrapper. So first of all, let's add a footer tag over here. And in that we'll have the class wrapper. So now everything inside this footer will have the width of the wrapper division. But we can add the background color to the footer and all the content will be inside the wrapper division. So in the wrapper division, we'll create one more division called footer container. That's because we'll be having these elements one next to the other and we'll be using display flex for that. So we need to have a container division to add the display flex property. So let's go ahead and first of all add the logo. So let's add a division with the class of logo. And in that we'll have the IMG tag and here we'll type images slash logo light dot SVG. That is because this is the light colored logo and I have given the name logo light to this uh, SVG. So now if we go to our uh, website, we can see that the logo is not being displayed because the color is white and the background is also white. All right, next we have these uh, navigation menus over here. So let's create a division with the class of footer nav and, uh, and that will have an S3 and uh, we will type our services and then we have these services. So for that, we will add an unordered list and in that we'll have list items and in that we'll have anchor tags and uh, here we will have these uh, text. So I'll just quickly add these uh, links to our design. All right, our first photo nav is done. Now we have one more over here. So let's copy this and uh, paste it over here and the next one is about us and then we have these uh, links so I'll just add them all right we are done with the second photo nav as well now the next thing is these social media icons so let's create one more division with the class of photo nav and we have the heading get social and for the social media icons we'll create a division with a class of footer social and in that division we'll have the anchor tags and then we'll have the images inside that now in place of the hash you can type the URL of your social media account all right so the first image is Facebook so we'll type images Facebook logo dot png and let's copy this image two more times and we have instagram and twitter and after this photo social division we will have a paragraph and uh, we'll type this uh, email id over here All right, now the last thing we need to have is uh, this message right here. So I'll just copy this. And uh, just before the footer, 
we will add a paragraph and we'll give it a class of copyright and we'll just copy this text over here and we'll also add at copy colon 2020 for the copyright symbol so let's open our website and see how it looks right now so here we can see we have the logo right here it cannot be seen right now because of the color and then we have these footer navs over here and we have this email id and uh, this message over here at the bottom now let's go ahead and style this before that let's just add a comment end of the footer and uh, let's go to style.css and uh, let's create a new comment and first of all we'll style the footer tag and we'll give a background color of dark and we'll set the color of all the text to the light color and we'll set a margin top of 100 pixels because all these sections have margin tops of 100 and we'll also give a padding bottom of 30 pixels now let's also set the color of these anchor tags to white and we'll also remove the underlines so we will type footer a and we'll set the color to var light color and text decoration to none now we'll show the underlines when we hover over these uh, anchor tags so here we'll type footer a colon hover and text decoration to underline so now when we hover over these we have the underlines now if you go to the figma design we can see that all these elements are one next to the other so let's style the footer container and we'll set the display to flex and justify content to space between so that it will have even space between all the elements all the elements are one next to the other and uh, we have even spacing between all of them now let's also add a padding so if you go to the figma design and if you select one of these we can see we have a spacing of 102 we'll just round it to 100 pixels so here we will type padding of 100 pixels for the top 0 for the right 32 pixels for bottom and 0 for the left now this gt coding logo is at the top now we want to center it vertically so let's target that we'll type footer container dot logo and we will align self to center so here you can see the logo is centered vertically now let's style the unordered list so we'll type footer container ul and um, let's see what is the spacing between this uh, ul and uh, the heading so we can see we have a spacing of 23 pixels we'll just change it to 24 so we'll type margin top of 24 pixels and we'll also get rid of these bullets and also the padding so we'll type padding 0 and uh, list style to none now let's style the list items so let's go ahead and type footer container ulli and we'll give a margin of 16 pixels for top and bottom 0 for left and right I think it will look good if we add more margin between the ul and this heading so let's change this to 30 pixels All right now it looks fine alright now let's style the footer social division so here we'll type footer container footer social and we'll set a margin of 30 pixels for the top, 0 for right, 24 pixels for bottom and 0 for the left. And we'll also remove the underline that we see over here at the bottom. That is because the images are inside an anchor tag. And then we'll also set a margin between these uh, icons. So if you go to our Figma design, we can see that we have a spacing of 30 pixels. So let's go ahead and uh, here we will type footer container, footer social a and uh, we'll set text decoration to none and we'll set the margin to 0 for top and bottom and 15 pixels for left and right now we are setting a margin of 15 pixels even though we have a spacing of 30 pixels in our figma design that's because we have margin right of 15 pixels and margin left of 15 pixels so both of them add up to 30 pixels of spacing 
Now we want to remove the margin left of the first element. So let's go ahead and uh, here we will type footer container footer social a colon first child. So it will select the first anchor tag inside footer social and we'll set the margin left to zero. All right, now it looks fine. Now when we hover over these images, we want it to increase in size a little bit. So let's go ahead and uh, type footer container footer social a img colon hover and we'll set the transform to scale 1.2 now we can see when we hover over this the size changes we'll also add a smooth transition so for that we'll go ahead and target the img so footer container footer social a img and we will add a transition of 500 milliseconds so now it works fine now the last thing to style is this line over here so we'll just text align it to the center so i'll just type copyright and text align it to the center so that's basically it with the footer of our one page website so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day